can be combined voice law, child's law, and Avogadro's law into one equation. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Siri Pencera Kimia Awa. In this lesson, we are going to learn about idle gas equation and how to perform calculation using idle gas equation. Gases are complicated. They are full of billions and billions of gases molecules that move randomly and can collide with each other. Since it's very hard to explain the real gas, the concept of idle gas is then introduced following these two assumptions. The first assumption, gas molecules do not attract or repel to each other. The second assumption, idle gas molecules themselves take up no volume. Sounds too perfect? Yes, you are right. There are actually no gases that are exactly idle. Although there are conditions at which real gas approach idle behavior, which you are going to learn in the next subchapter. The three fundamental gas law discover the relationship between volume, pressure, temperature, and amount of gas. Boyce's law tells us that the volume of gas increases as the pressure decreases. Charles' law tells us that the volume of gas will increase as the temperature increases. And Avogadro's law tells us the volume of a gas increases as the amount of gas increases. The ideal gas law is the combination of these three simple gas laws. Idle gas law expressed mathematically as PV equal to NRT. NRT. Where P equal to pressure and the unit of turn in at the end. V is for volume and the unit of turn in liter or dmq N is for number of mole and R is gas constant and the value and unit of R depends on the unit of pressure and volume used in the equations. The value of R is 0.0806. The unit is liter m per mole per Kelvin. And T is for temperature often measure in Kelvin. Let's look at the example. A steel gas tank has a volume of 275 liter is filled and is filled with 0.485 kg of oxygen. Calculate the pressure of oxygen if the temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we can use the formula PV equal to NRT. So the question asks you to find the pressure of the oxygen. So the pressure of the oxygen will be number of mole of the oxygen times with R times with the temperature over volume of your oxygen. Okay, so now you need to search the number of mole of the oxygen, temperature in Kelvin, and volume is already given by 275 liter. So, 
number of mole of oxygen, we can use mass over molar mass. The mass of the oxygen you need to convert into gram. So 0 0.485 times with 10 exponent 3 converted to gram over molar mass of the oxygen, which is 32 gram per mole. So the number of mole of oxygen after calculation you will get 15.16 mole. Let us get the pressure of the oxygen. So pressure of oxygen equal to number of mole of oxygen which is 15.16 mole times with gas constant 0 0.08206 liter dm per mole per Kelvin times with the temperature which you converted to Kelvin so 302.15 Kelvin over volume of the gas oxygen which is 275 liter so you will get 1.37 at the end there are other further application of the idle gas equation that we can derive to get the density of a gas as well as molar mass of the gas shall we so idle gas equation is equal to pv equal to n r t okay so n is for number of mole so the formula for number of mole is equal to mass over molar mass so we can insert the mass of molar mass into the idle gas equation which is pv and rt so you can see pv is equal to mass rt over molar mass so the mass and molar mass is already substituted with the number of mole okay now how do you get how do you find molar mass so your molar mass is equal to mass times with r gas constant times with temperature over pressure times with volume and how to get density from the idle gas equation pv and rt so again pv equal to n r t and we insert number we can change the number of mole into mass over molar mass therefore we will get pv equal to m r t over pv m r t over m r so now what is the formula of density formula of density is equal to mass over volume so you can change you can change the mass of a volume into density where so p equal to m r t over m r volume times with m r so this mass of a volume we can substitute into density so p equal to density rt over mr okay so density is equal to pressure times molar mass over r times with t now let us move into the question what is the molar mass of a 1.37 gram sample of gas which occupies a volume of 2.04 dm cube at 27.6 degree celsius and 0.95 at the end so the question needs you to find the molar mass now 
what is the information that you get you have volume which is 0 0.2.04 dm cube you have temperature which you need to convert into kelvin so 27.6 plus with 273.15 equal to 300.75 kelvin and you have r which is the gas constant 0 0.08206 dm cube at the end per kelvin per mole and you also have the mass given which is 1.37 gram pressure given is 0 0.95 at the end so from what we've learned before how to get molar mass from either gas equation so your molar mass is equal to mass times r times t over pv so what is the mass given 1.37 okay. the gas constant is 0 0.08206 the temperature is 300.75 over pressure given 0 0.95 times width the volume given is 2.04 dm cube you will get the answer as 17.45 gram per mole in this video you've learned the concept of idle gas and how to perform calculation using idle gas equation. I really hope you enjoyed the video for today and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.